diggers I'm Brian here we're uh, doing the Hangtown TV Hangtown News Network out here in Hangtown California and uh, you know I, f I found that gold nugget it was uh, in a place very similar to this another secret spot we're at here very good water flow a lot more water flow the other place and it actually literally with a lot of quartz and other metals and stuff that was heavy and rusted by the pressure of the creek and by all the metal rusting up and it, it kind of cemented itself naturally into the side here as if it was some bedrock but you dig into that and find out but I, I was lucky enough I didn't have to dig straight into it I was able to see it just shining out and smiling at me through the water less than a foot under the water and I spent the rest of my day another probably only 15 minutes prying that sucker out and it was I don't know it was so, it was so exciting I kind of like didn't even get excited about it I was just like huh I think I just found a big ass gold nugget you mean to tell me that thing was winking at you oh yeah I seen through that's how I knew what to go for that's how I knew how to take my old wild west titanium pry bar they had and yeah another pry bar that we found in uh, in the river there itself in the creek where we found it and uh, we got some other stuff here that uh, we want to show you that we found in there as well so hi man you're pretty handy with a gold pan sluice box all that stuff what's in your sluice box Oh, you know, uh, oh, what, my over three ounces of gold? Or are you talking about uh, what's my style of uh, getting down to the... Getting, getting down, down and gold? dirty with the nitty gritty, man. Well, I just use my hands. Oh, I, uh, so you're I, a hand panner. Yeah, I uh, panned my first gold nugget with a hand, with my hand just like reaching into a hole in the bedrock and out came the gold nugget with... Uh, first it was gold with a little bit of gold mercury attached. Then it was a gold nugget followed by some bullets and an old Cracker Jack metal lady toy. From way back in the day, if y'all know what Cracker Jack is. And uh, yeah, and so ever since I've just been flipping the overburdened rocks in the rivers and creeks and, you know, getting down to the bedrock and sniping it and seeing where, where that, you know, where that fortune is. All right. Are you going to be at the El Dorado County Fairgrounds here in September when they had the World Championship Gold Panning Competition? Oh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I am. I'm work my way uh, up all the waterways and probably end up there probably right about that time anyway. And you know, it, it's it's quite it's quite the sight to see. It's going to be people from all around the world coming right down here to. Hangtown, California. Right. According to the poster I saw at the mercantile store, they got people from all over the world coming down here to pick and dig and dig and pick and pan and scratch I'll, around in the dirt, man. That'll, that'll be fun for them doing good luck to them, but, uh, I mean, you know, after uh, me, and Eddie and, me and Eddie Eldorado are done, you know, doing what we do, they might not have much gold left to find. Might not be much left. You That's know. what they said about the 49ers now, man. Yeah, well, pff, they they still there's been enough time where everyone gave up. We'll finally go and everyone gives up again. Maybe another few hundred years. Maybe only, even only 50 you might find some more gold. But I think we're going to get all the rest of it that we got right here right now. Well, I think we need to find some sponsors. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to get some good sponsors in there. But, uh, who do we need for some sponsors? I remember right now. I got my I got my mind on mind on the go. I thought I saw something shining in there a second ago. No. Nope. It's only illusion, man. All right, we'll be right back. You're watching the Hangtown News Network, Placerville Area Television, and Hangtown TV here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We shall be right right back. All right. Yo. Well, howdy, diggers. How y'all doing? The World Championship Gold Panning Competition is coming up very shortly here in El Dorado County at the El Dorado County Fairgrounds. Y'all are welcome to come on over, sit a spell, kick your shoes off, and do some serious gold panning. 
Now where I'm standing right now is a place called Goldbug Park. It's part of the uh, 27 mine shafts that were stretched from here all the way to Highway 193. And that was the very first gathering of the United Nations. People from all over the world came here in search of gold. And y'all know that because they're called 49ers. Right? Right. Now, you remember the movie Titanic and all the pictures in National Geographic machine that, that all was left of the certain survivors that didn't really survive very long on the bottom of the ocean? The only thing left was their shoes and a perfect imprint in the sand. Well, I'll tell you what, we got the same thing here. The horse is gone, the rider is gone, but we have the shoes from the Pony Express right here in Hangtown, California. They were dragged out of the creek by our digging crew, specifically myself and Brian, that you just saw Howdy. earlier. Now, how many things we found there, Brian? Um, well, we got four here with us, uh, and then we got still back over at the spot, probably another at least two to four. So there's been eight real good ones so far. And each shoe tells a story of the particular horse and rider that was on it. You see this? It was built in a specific way for a specific horse. The horse hoof was wide enough that the blacksmith had to fashion this in such a way it would fit the hoof of a horse. This one here was a mistake. The blacksmith was not done finishing it. This is where he had his little pinchers on it, pliers, while he was whacking it with a hammer. For some reason he whacked it too hard and had to throw it out. This is all that's left. A souvenir of the Pony Express. Other things we have here, good old American steel from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. These were part of the Conestoga wagons that came across the Great Plains during the gold rush. The, each one of these were handmade by a blacksmith in Pennsylvania. These are called linchpins. They go into the wagon wheel and hold the whole contraption together while you're going down the mountains. The reason they made them this way is so when you locked it into place, if you had to take your wagon apart and lower it by a rope over the side of a cliff, which was often done, you could easily take this pin out of the wheel and disassemble the unit. These are antiques, 150 years old, I'd say. But look at the good American craftsmanship that went into that. There ain't no Chinese manufactured bologna here by a craggy. It's all American iron, American steel. And why are we finding them out here in the creek? I'll tell you why. When they got out here, they went to a blacksmith shop to get their whole wagons refitted because the trip was rough. They only had two blacksmith shops out here at the time. One was run by John Studebaker of Studebaker Auto Fame. He made wagons and wheelbarrows for the miners at first. The other was Levi Strauss. He tinkered around with the blacksmith trade for a while, made a bunch of horseshoes and whatnot. Then he went into jeans, and you know the rest of the story. But the only thing we have left is the shoes of the pioneers. This artifact tells another story of blood, sweat, and gold, pay dirt, and pistol smoke out here in Hangtown, California. You can tell. This was handmade in a blacksmith shop, either by John Studebaker himself or Levi Strauss. It was made specifically to be packed in. It's very light. You put it on your pack, 
with your gold pan and everything else, you can hike around the mountains. Anything bigger than this, forget it. Where'd you find this, Brian? Oh, I found that down in one of the waterways here in uh, El Dorado County, California, Hangtown. And you know, when I seen it, I was all, that's cool. They discarded, they used it so much, it broke, and then they just tossed it in the creek there. And uh, I was like, wow, I wonder, you know, that that's probably responsible for finding a good amount of gold right there. That's right. El Dorado County has a rich history of finding gold. Back Sutter's Mill is where it all started in Coloma. The other thing we have here that tells another story of pay dirt and pistol smoke. This is a lead brick. It was used by the miners to melt down and make 44 round balls or mini balls. So in order to come out here, you have to have a lot of balls. <laughs> Cut. Okay, and then. Wow, man, is that thing on? Yeah. By a cracky. Looky here, man. I'm an American picker. And an American digger. <laughs> <laughs> what up digger now KG and ringmaster y'all use metal detectors we use what God gave us in the first place our eyes and our hands and our sense of feeling in the creek and Mike and Frank you always talking about rusty gold man well I guess we got Port Knox out here God darn it by a craggy you know what I mean so next time y'all come out here for the History Channel, National Geographic Channel, look me up. We got a whole mine shaft full of this stuff. We ain't telling you where it is, of course. But if rust is gold, here's your Fort Knox. Well, it's been a long, strange trip from Independence, Missouri out here to hang town took a long time to get here for a lot of folks some of y'all ain't got here yet so what i'm going to tell you right now is the world championship gold panning competition is coming up here in the el dorado county fairgrounds in placerville california look it up on the world wide web do a googly oogly on it and you'll come up with it just don't butt dial me about what you found, all right? This is Eddie Eldorado, along with uh, our digger picker friends, Brian. Yes, sir. And we salute you from Hangtown, California. Thanks for watching. And y'all come back now, you hear? Kick your shoes off. Sit a spell. Have some of that hard cider from Apple Hill.